Hi, boys and girls. I am here today to teach you about dictionary skills. So today we're going to be talking about the dictionary. All right. So just to review, because you have learned a little bit about dictionaries already. A dictionary is a book full of words, lots and lots of words with meanings inside of it. And a dictionary has these words placed in ABC order to make them easy to find in the dictionary. Guide words help us find um, the entry words quickly on a page, which is something you've already learned about. And today what we're going to talk about is these entry words, the words in the dictionary and what they do for us. So right here is a page out of the dictionary. So you can see we talked about guide words already. So here we have absorb and aeroplane. So here we know the page starts with the absorb and it ends with aeroplane. Same with over on this side, the guide words are afraid and artist. So we can see afraid is at the top of the page and then artist is at the bottom. The words in orange are the entry words and that's what we're gonna be talking about today, the words that we're looking up in the dictionary. So here's a sample entry word. So the word is near. So we're gonna take a really close look at it. Okay, so first, the first thing is that your entry word will always be bold. So that's the word you're looking up. So here, in this case, it's near. And then next comes the pronunciation. So if you don't know how to pronounce a word, you would use the dictionary to help you figure out how to read it. And then it gives you the part of speech. And this is really helpful when you're writing um, sentences and you're not sure if it makes sense in the sentence. And sometimes we could use parts of speech to help us figure out. Where does a noun go? Where does a verb go? An adverb describes the verb. So um, that would be helpful to know what the part of speech is. Then we get the definition. In this case, there's two definitions of near. At or to a short distance in space or time is the first definition. And then this entry has two definitions. So then the second one is almost. So that's it has different meanings depending on how you use it in the sentence. Ooh, here's our secret word for today. The secret word is had. So make sure you add that to your sentence because us teachers can't wait to see if you get it for Monday. Let us know what it is. All right, so today we're gonna look at, take a closer look at some sentences and then underneath I have an entry, webbed. So if we read the first sentence, it says the duck's webbed feet help it to swim. And then the second sentence says the purse has a webbed strap. So two different meanings, but the same word. So looking at the definitions, there's two definitions, one and two. The first one says having skin that connects the toes or fingers. So which one would that be? Would it be webbed feet or a webbed strap? Well, we know that if a duck has webbed feet, he has skin in between his fingers, right? To help him with paddling when he's paddling. So we would know that the first definition goes with the first sentence. Look at the second one, made of a material that looks or feels like a web. Well, look, you guys, this webbed is a describing word, an adjective, right? So it's describing the strap and that strap has material that looks like a web. Maybe it looks like a spider web. All right, let's keep going. So on your seesaw, you're going to have um, a couple different entry words and then you have to decide which of the definitions goes with the sentence. So here we're gonna practice. So this is a, de a dictionary and then the bold words are the entries, horn, cabin, football, and ruby. Well, we're just going to focus on this entry right here, cabin. So, and we're going to read the sentences and figure out which one it would be. So there's three definitions of cabin. A small, simple house. Um, they have rough boards or logs and our family rented a cabin on the lake. Okay, so you know, like a log cabin, that would be your first definition. Two is a private room on a ship. They were seasick seasick and spent the trip across the ocean in their cabin. So some of you, if you took a cruise or something, we call those rooms a cabin. And then the third definition is a place in the aircraft for passengers, crew members, or cargo. So that would be 
in an airplane, right? There's a cabin where the passengers go, the crew members can go, or cargoes, your luggage and things like that. So it says, tell which definition of the word cabin is used in each sentence below. So the first one is the pilot greeted everyone in the cabin. Hmm, which one do you think it would be? A log cabin, number one? No. A private room on a ship? No, we're not talking about a, well, oh, I'm sorry. Yes, we're talking about a ship, right? So the pilot, um, I'm sorry, we're talking, the pilot greeted everyone in the cabin. So what is a pilot? A pilot is someone on an airplane. So would that be a private room on a ship? No, he's not in a ship, he's in an aircraft, right? So it would be definition three. How about this one? The boat captain returned to his cabin for the evening. Ooh, so what would that one be? So a boat captain. So we know it's someone that's on a boat. And then which one would it be? A log cabin, definition one, no. A private room on a ship, yes. So we would put a two here. And then the last one, I saw smoke coming from the chimney of the old cabin. Oh, so that would be our definition one, a small simple house and they're often built of rough boards or logs. So we would put a one here. Okay, so you have to read the sentence to figure out which definition it is. So if you look, here's your assignment on Seesaw. So it says read each sentence and then look at the dictionary entries and decide what the word means. Circle the correct definition on each line. So you would read the sentence, Kim had to swallow her food before she could talk. And then you would look up here to see there's swallow one and swallow two. Is it to make food or drink go down your throat? Or is it a small bird with pointed wings and a tail with two points? So if you think it's swallow one, you would circle it. And if you think it is swallow two, a bird, then you would circle that one. All right, so you would do the same thing for shuffle, creature, and webs. All right, boys and girls, I hope you have fun doing this. And I hope you enjoyed learning about dictionary.